Hi, it's me, Rachel Lee, back for another video. I haven't posted in a little bit, um, but I ran across the new story of Ruby Frankie and the incident where her son, Russell, um, ran to a neighbor's house and had tape around his legs and said he was hungry and all these different things. First off, my heart goes out to Bonnie and Ellie and every single one of their siblings. I love um, all of their videos and I've actually been following eight passengers for probably, I mean, years, like years. And I would, I would question when I watched her videos and I would see different instances where she was very strict with her children and that made me question, you know, okay, that's a little odd and you know, I feel bad because I watched one of Bonnie's videos and Bonnie Holine, uh, her videos, and it was talking about, she was talking about how, you know, she is not her sister. And I think just from our side, the viewers, it's hard to separate that. Does that make sense? Like a family, it's hard to like, okay, so... We were all kind of believing one thing about this family. And then it's hard to kind of make sense because we're not actually physically there to believe everybody else in the family. It's hard to, but it's unfair for people to not... To, what am I trying to say here? To put each member of that family in that box. In that box that one person in the family did something wrong. So they're all part of that family. It, they're all part of that wrongdoing, you know? So I think we have to use our discernment as viewers and not put people in a box. Because I guarantee we all have family members in our own personal lives that have done something that we don't want to be um, associated with. So it's wrong to do that. So, you know, I hope and I, I pray for all the family members involved. Um, I pray for all the eight passengers um, and all the family members involved. Um, a couple of Frankie's... Um, uh, Ruby Frankie's sisters did post videos, which I feel like are very helpful just to hear like their sides. Um, and I think right now, the number one thing that we can do is kind of just give them, you know, the respect and the privacy that they need and everything. It's, it's more difficult when the public gets involved in something like this because, you know, this happens more than we know in different, you know, walks of people. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Like this, this type of nastiness unfortunately happens. And, you know, it's one of those things where theirs is public to everybody. So I just pray for everybody involved that they can find some kind of peace, you know, in this situation. And, you know, thank the Lord that Hopefully the children now can like rest and, and, um, trust and, um, it doesn't cause a lot of emotional trauma for sure. But anyway, um, I am praying for each one of you, Bonnie and Ellie and Ruby and I'm even praying for Ruby. She needs it. But yeah, I don't know, it's a lot to, lot to, lot to think about. But, and Ruby's children too. Keep them all in your prayers as well. And all the husbands. And just, just pray for everybody. But, um, yeah. That's kind of where I'm at with everything. Yeah. That's my, that's my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments.